Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Austria in the popular demand mod. Yeah. So guys, we're having a crisis right now of epic proportions. Hopefully, hopefully the uh, French will join in on our side, completely, completely crush the Japanese hopes of being able to, uh, well, be able to put up with us. Yeah, I'm actually going to keep the radio station. Whatever that radio station is, I'm actually going to keep it because... I like radio stations. No. Build this, finish this, then start other troops. Because I actually like radio stations, because that's like the new money right now. And if we can keep a good monopoly over the new money, we'll be able to keep making money, which is good. That's good economics right there. So, if yeah, if you guys want Sada, you guys can have Sada. I don't even care about Sada. Okay. You guys still want me for Ukraine? I'm probably going to ban, uh, I'm probably going to ban the... Germans next because the Germans look like they're gonna be coming too friendly with our Ukrainian friends, which is annoying. Let's see, crisis-wise, friends haven't really decided. Is Japan really gonna go all like, com like one-on-one -on -one with all the other great powers in the world? Ah, uh, Japan. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I was about to say that is not gonna work. Like I've seen some pretty stupid last stands, but that is definitely not gonna work, Japan. Definitely not gonna work. And then Ukraine, man. Ukraine, we have to make sure that you're all protected. I almost have enough to ban the uh, embassy of our good friends, the uh, Germans, for another entire year, which basically saves me. And we have one entire year before my massive plan becomes into order. This is actually really, really exciting. Um, I actually should bring back those troops that I sent all the way over here. Uh, yeah, we should probably should do that. You guys go all the way back over here. Send them back over there. This army, I believe, is almost done. Is it? Yes, it's almost done. That last little troops right there will basically finish it off. I'm going to put this army, like, right about here. And I'm going to have two units right here. Uh, no! Who did it? 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 Oh, shit, schnitzel. I just, oh, shoot, oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, 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 okay. We also have another problem, guys. Our good friends, the Romanians, didn't exactly tell us that they're having some type of problem, so send like three big armies to go conquer back this province as quickly as possible. Go man, go! We need you guys to go! Go, go, go! I do not want to lose that province. Whatever you guys do, do not lose... Oh, yes, we'll do whatever we can. We're gonna send all of our troops in to go break these guys up as quickly as possible. If we lose Romania, we could lose a valuable ally. We need to make sure these guys die as quickly and as painlessly as possible. Okay, send as many troops as we can. 170. How quick are we sieging this? Siege it faster! Siege it faster! 35, 38. Siege it faster! Come on, siege it! We need to siege that before the event finals where it's going to be like, Oh yeah, these people are actually broken free. Do you want to declare war on them? Or do you want to do something else? That's basically going to harper all of our all of our relationships. Come on, come on, come on. Quickly, quickly, quickly. And yeah, this is what I mean by watching them. The stupid Romanians, man. There we go. Oh, thank you. Goodness, we saved their sorry. Oh my goodness, I, I mean, Romania, you guys are just an unstable people to be with. Whew, whew, that got my blood pumping, people. I gotta tell you, that got my blood pumping. Okay, so let's see. Right now, Italy, still a great power. Don't know why, but they should be dropping down. If they're not gonna drop down here, people, my second option that I was going to do is basically do something else that'd make him also drop down. But yeah, okay, we basically freed him. Good job. Okay, you guys go right here. Okay, that, that was close, people. That was seriously close. We almost saw Romania break off and become its own independent nation. Let's go crush these guys while we're on the way. Okay, once these guys are dead, then I can actually rest easy. Okay, and uh, here, uh, we're going to ban the embassy of the Germans. There we go. And we're also going to go send these guys back. Okay, there we go. Whew. Whew. Guys, that like, that like seriously got my heart pumping right there. Like, I seriously thought we weren't going to like make it there for a couple seconds. I thought we literally were going to have to start out all the way back from the beginning and do it all over again. Which was going to be like, <gasps> oh no. Okay, but anyways, let's restart building more troops. Keep building some more troops in Lubin. And keep making more stuff. I mean, these guys aren't preparing for war, but I am preparing for war. We want to make sure that when war comes, 
We are not unprepared. We are beginning. We'll be able to begin this war with full gusto and charity and whatever you want to call it. We're going to be able to be fight this war with all of our valor and everything. It's going to be a great war, guys. I really can't wait for this war. I really cannot wait. It's going to be so awesome. Just like so very awesome. Our troops are returning to. We have two armies right here. Um, you know, actually, now thinking about it, it's probably going to be like a waste having this army over there just because we'll have this army right there, which will basically block up that region. Then, yeah, I, I believe I'm actually going to go send this army over here, and that way we have this lower part more solidly defended, which could actually help out France a little bit more and create a better, better, like, front for everyone. Uh, sure. Yes, begin integration. Everyone must be the same. I pointed this out the very first episode. You may all have freedom of speech and freedom of religion as long as you're all the same at the same exact time. Okay? And let's see. You go right here. You go right here. And there we go. We have a perfect front of epic soldiers basically against the Germans all waiting to go move in. We are ready for war, people. Ready. I mean, it's not just we're ready for we are invigorated by it. We are going to be at war, and we're going to love it. All right, financial output, much better now. Uh, let's go to final technology encumbrance. Hooray, people, we're almost done with the technology encumbrance. And let's see. Uh, I got a game six prestige. I don't care about the other stuff. And let's continue on with our game. All of my troops are now on the border. All of them are all ready for the massive movement. We're preparing for this, but... Before we do that, we're probably going to have to declare war on Italy and get the Italian war done with, and then we can go start the other war. Wait, when am I getting to no time for war? October 5th. Okay, so let's see. Let's move four different armies to the border because we want to make sure this is as quick of a war as we can for Italy. If Italy is not done within like a month's time, we're going to be like, you know, basically messed over. We need to make sure this is like, the quickest war we've ever fought. Yes, we shall attend the Olympics. The Olympics are a grand event where we win all the medals. Austria, Austria, Austrian pride right there. And let's see, we got some synthetic oil. I thought we already had that. And let's see, we're just waiting. We're just waiting for that, for the right for us to declare war. Let's see, is there anyone else? Romania's back in its own civil war chaos stuff. I believe they can actually handle this though, so it's not our exact place to go declare war on them. And it looks like all troops are actually on the border, which is really nice. Oh, uh, they're allied with us too. Four, fifth, six. Okay, let's see. Ger uh, Italy, you guys need to be... What can we do against you guys? Uh, take from spirit of influence, free people, humiliate. Uh, oh, my goodness. We would have to, like... Oh man, dang, I don't know why, but they didn't drop to being a lesser power. So we're going to try to do a free nation, Casas Belli, and see if that's going to give us what we need. So I'm just going to zoom out for a little bit, because we don't really need to be on the uh, inside looking at all this kind of stuff. Plus the game kind of goes quicker when you're outside anyways. So it's a very, very good idea to do that. Let's see, is there anything I can build? Mostly in Africa, probably from all these colonies over here that I made. And let's see, they're, all these colonies are making a decent amount of troops. I really do like it. Like, they built a lot of troops, and they're going to be ready for when this war starts. Like, my African colony is going to be like, Yeah, there's a war starting? All right, let's go get our soldiers, our guns, and everything. We're going to go shoot everyone up. Okay, and we already got, we got a colony right now? We got a colony that didn't become a colony? What is this? Glorious! We want more medals. Okay, wait, what? Uh, Korean islands? Wait, what? Oh my goodness, we get to have another colonial province in Asia, in Micronesia. Yes! Micronesia, we have another colonial province. Yes! Yes! That is awesome. That is awesome right there. Alright, land development wise. And I just realized, people, you guys have probably not been hearing the music this entire time. I know why that is. Let me turn it up for you guys. I bet that's been really disappointing for you guys to not be able to hear the music this entire time. And probably a little bit annoying not to hear my voice the entire time. Now you guys have the music which makes it a little bit more lively in here. An excellent initiative. We shall accept. Okay, let's see. You re Wow. Wow. Uh, Italy is definitely trying to take my job again. 
Luckily, Ukraine's becoming a battlefield of epic proportions. 4.0 for that, that's nothing. We have basically no infamy because of all the good deeds we've been doing in Africa. Okay, pause it. Pause it, pause it, pause it. Pause it, December 30th. Okay, let's go right here. First, we have to ban the embassy of the Italians. Don't worry, Italy. I'll, I'll soon get you back for all the times you've been doing this. And let's see, let's go send one more army onto the front. Just because we want to make this as quick of a war as possible. I mean, we want this to be a lightning war. I mean, a lightning war. A just a lightning fast war. In fact, I want to see if I can get this war done in nine minutes. Do you people believe I can get this war done in nine minutes? I believe I can get this war done in nine minutes. But we're going to have to see. We're going to have to seriously see if I can do this. We're just going to have to back out though so I can get that Casas Bella. The problem is that we have to also get the Casas Bella, which takes a little bit of time. I mean, seriously, as much as we have a lot of stuff, Universal really does slow us down, and so does Plurality. That really does slow us down. Venezuela is apparently going through some tough times. Not really my issue. And Cumberance is all finished up, people, which means now we're going to move on to Naval Logistics. A splendid idea. Naval Logistics, start getting the rest of these, like, Naval Advanced Placement things done. Long live Austria and the integration process. We are the best in the world. Nothing's going to ever keep me down. We're the best around. Never to ever keep me down. Yeah, that's my singing right there, people. Hope you enjoyed it. Okay, let's just keep doing this. Allow advanced luxurious factories. That's good to know. Okay, 90, 19, 18, 17, 16. We got 15. Ah, uh, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, uh, wait. There we go. Okay, so now that we got the Casas Belli, let's see, Italy, let's see, and then it's now Germany's turn to also be the place. Okay, uh, let's see, what country can I liberate? Oh, that's kind of useless. What? Oh. I can also, let's liberate that country, because I don't know what that is, but really, that's the only, is this down here again? Uh, Oswa, yeah, uh, dang it, that's the only country I can liberate? Gosh, yeah, that was kind of a waste. I'm not even going to deny people, that was kind of a waste. But anyways, we're going to, but this is not a waste. We still have to fight these guys, though, because we do need that. We do need that land border with them, and what I probably will do is I may just take an actual infamy hit. Let's see, did I call in any of my allies to this war? No, I didn't, yes! Okay, so what we can do is actually just fight them now, weaken them. And then we can go to war with them in a second. And basically go crush them. Okay. Let's see. Religious is a private matter. Let's go see. Let's go right here. Because we definitely do need Italy on our side. And definitely underneath our control. Let's see. We're destroying all the Italians. I believe the Italians are going to be quickly destroyed. Because I just literally have a more advanced na nation than they do. And no matter how much they try to fight me. Even if they charge at me, I'm going to have a better army than they do. I mean, literally, I'm maxed out in terms of an army. So even if they try to attack me, I have better stuff than they do. So this is kind of pointless. And now it seems like the some of the people are actually starting to spawn right there and instantly dying. That's kind of sad. Okay, sending both these armies to go right there, destroy that unit. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Boom. Let's see, you guys go right there, you guys go right there. Oh my goodness, keep moving in, keep moving in, keep moving in. We're blocking up all the resistance. They're not gonna be able to they're not gonna be able to get through anything. Let's see, we're moving in quickly. We're gonna destroy all of these guys. You guys just go destroy these guys. Make sure they're all dead. So the next time we invade them, it'll be even easier. Okay? Even easier. The Jinduism. Okay. And let's see, what other like humiliations can we add to them? Dismantle nation, no. No, we don't want to dismantle nation because if we do that, uh, we're going to have difficulties. Let's just say that. Um, we could actually take another state from them. I would get my infamy up. Um, I could get the little tiny islands. Uh, need to, uh, you know. Now, nah, I don't believe I'm actually going to sway too much from the path. When we do, we will gain. If we choose go, we will gain. If we fail this go, we will gain. These will be reduced by 111. See, would that be enough? Uh, yeah. 
uh, let's see, how close is the next person behind him? Behind Italy is Beijing, which is 143. Mm. Okay, we're going to have to do a couple things to uh, Italy to make sure that we uh, get what we want. Because we want to make sure Italy is weak and we gain what we want. So let's add a... Uh, cut down the size. Uh, humiliate, definitely. Add a humiliate. So that they're humiliated. Okay, get that done with. You guys move down there. You guys move down there. 15 days, ongoing election. All right, let's see. We got more research. Get the naval naval gains. The final little bit we need. You guys move in down there. You guys guess your seats down the same province. And you guys will both go quickly, I guess. And then you guys will move down there. Let's see, you guys are probably already ready to surrender because I already have most of your country occupied. So let's add another goal of um, dismantle fortifications of Lonzo. No, we need to make sure, we need to do stuff that actually hurts him. So let's see. Oh, let's add 13 more infamy. I actually can't take that much. Let's see. Add that war goal. Um, proceed to peace. Yes. Okay, there we go. Let's see, we acquired what we did, we took apart the nation just a little bit, I mean it wasn't really that much, but let's see, will they drop from being a great power? That's what we need to know, will they drop from being a great power? Yes they will. Okay, can we declare war on them? No way. Can we not declare war on them? Can we not break the truce? No. We can't break the truce. So, basically, what that means, guys, is that an entire nation that we need in this war is not going to be able to come into this war because of some stupid, stupid, stupid things. Um, you know what we could have done is we could have kept that war going for a little bit longer. And I didn't. I thought you could break your truces with a different nation. So, um. Uh, dang, that's that's really the thing, cause that like prevents the entire two Sicilies army from joining in our war. Like that really does stink. But hey, I fought the entire war in under four minutes, so I guess I did achieve my goal. In in I guess there's a pyric victory in this or fyric victory in this, but still that that really does stink. We just lost one of our biggest, you know, war buddies. Now that we can't actually add him to our war. So, and I'm pretty sure Two Sicilies is not going to be too kind. Uh, they offer a protectorate. Uh, sure. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess we'll become overlords to them, I, I, I guess. And I don't really know. Okay. And let's see. You guys are friends of Puerto Rico. The Puerto Rico's here? Huh. Let's see, Puerto Rico friends with the United States. Dang it, why is friends... United States has to be friends with everyone I don't like. Okay, well, anyways, the Vietnam is no longer friends with our good friends, the Germans. So let's see, is there anyone we can declare? Russia, shoot, no. We definitely don't want Russia to join in. Albania, no one's friends with Albania. And I know that because they're kind of my enemies. So we could declare war on Albania, have basically the Germans join in. Be able to crush Albania in a quick second, by the way. Albania is not going to be that hard. Begin assimilation. There are no guards. Let's see. Conservatives took the victory, of course, because conservatism is awesome. Let's decrease relations. Once they're down to this, I'll just do a quick dismantle fortifications. Hey, no, no, no. You guys, keep in power. Keep in power until I'm done. Like, the Austrians have spoken. Uh, Ashra. Wait, who are you guys being attacked by? Uh... Uh, I really don't want to fight Great Britain for this, so no. You guys aren't worth it. <laughs> I hate to say it, but you guys are not worth my time. Uh, especially for just one province minus. It's just not worth my time fighting this. Okay, so let's group up all you guys. Go send you guys over here. To make sure, just in case, if Scandinavia joins in, we make sure we block up the army over here. Uh, let's see, can I declare war now? Oh yeah, we have to get below 50. Alright, two more clicks. We're almost there, people. 
almost there, and I believe I'm gonna make this episode slightly longer today, because, because I really want to finish this. I really want to start the process of getting this all finished up so that next episode you guys can just instantly get into the war part, or at least get into the feeling of the war part. Let's see, when's the next time I can go send some diplomatic relationship to these guys? Oh man, that really does stink though, because that means we just lost a really good ally. Curse you- wait. There's one other way that we could do this. And I guess it would be kind of a petty reason, but... We could declare war on South Africa. Oh my goodness, what is with all these people having great relationship with me? Um... What we could do is we could declare war on South Africa, and basically with the, uh, two- all these African nations, we just basically crush through everything. I think that's what we might do. Um, but first let me justify war. You know, I could do a conquest. Uh, no, just dismantle the uh, fortifications of the one nation. That way we just get as quickly and painlessly as possible. And since you guys are the only allies, the Germans are the only allies of you guys, they should be the only ones willing to join in. Uh, we're gonna have our troops mobilize, start mobilizing now. That way we already have a 60 day head start Better than the Germans did. Okay. Plan world to conquer. And let's make sure we separate the, uh, the, uh, non-good troops from the good troops. So I think I'll just make this an, a new army. And just go send them over here. We already have all of our troops meeting up in our Gil's Ray province, which is nice. So we already got that started. This is, this is gonna be awesome. And let's see, we got these guys attacking. We have... All of our troops basically ready. I think everyone's ready for this war, guys. We're all ready. Like, seriously, we are all ready for this war. And then we can also invade South Africa that way. Okay, there we go. Guys, let's see if this works correctly as I planned. Dismantle fortifications. Albania, Albania. Let's see. Let's see if anyone I need to... Uh, Bamin can't join in. So be it. Very likely, very likely, very likely. Let's see. Everyone join in, I need to join in. Give it about a day, and let's see, is there anything we need to do? We need to quickly start moving in right here. We give it a day. Spain, Spain, everyone joined in. And Germany joined in. So guys, it's official. We can now start our Germanic Federation invasion. Uh, we're going to start... I guess I'll just play out the first beginning moves of this. Just so you guys can see what I was planning. Let's see, actually, we can move in these guys, we'll basically block up those guys. And these guys are actually going to be kind of free right now, so you guys can actually move right. You guys can actually just be in reserves, and so I can make sure that if anyone attacks over here, I have instant defenses. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Next episode, we will start the war with Germany, so I hope you guys are pumped with that. Um, actually, wait, let me make sure the rest of the people I need to call in are, are going to be in. Like, I need the confederation right here. Um, I could call these guys in, but I don't need them quite yet. Ethiopia, I need to call you guys in. There we go. Um, you guys, I need to call you guys in. There we go. I guess Korea could also come in if they really want to, just so they have a wartime economy. Let's see, any other vassals I need to call in? Uh, these guys are already in it, so that doesn't really count. Let's see, does everyone I want in it? Yes, except for two Sicilies, which I have a backup plan for that. And yeah, with that everyone, well, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the war to end all wars. Literally, see you guys next time.